So this is our WD2100 XC, and this is the vented version. As far as installation, pretty much what you're looking at on a home install, you're gonna have your hot, your cold, drain, your electric, and then a, a vent. They do make a version of this that isn't vented. Uh, if you can vent, get the vented version, I, I definitely would. If it's not already pre-installed like this and you can drill a hole in the side of the RV and get it done, I would still highly recommend the vented version. It's gonna dry almost twice as fast. I don't know if it's quite twice as fast, but they definitely dry faster than the uh, ventless. As far as features, uh, you've got 10 wash cycles, three dry cycles. We usually just use um, number five, it's just your standard cotton dry. We don't even have to turn it to hot. It ends up throwing in some hot water to help it dry faster anyways, but we leave it on cold to keep it as small amount of hot water as possible. And then uh, this is your dry time. You set this. 60 is about right for most loads. This is a pretty big load we've got in right now. I bet there's five t-shirts, two pairs of pants, not jeans, but just uh, cotton pants, three or four pairs of underwear, two or three pairs of socks. I mean, there, there's, it's a, it's a two uh, cubic foot washer slash dryer. Uh, your standard home one is four to four and a half. So it's about half the size. So if you've got obviously a home washer, this is gonna hold half of what your home washer would uh, on average. But just an example of what you do for a load. We've got our load in there, throw it in, close it. This is where we put our detergent in. I just use the liquid high efficiency stuff. I don't know if you have to use high efficiency, but I'm not gonna take a chance with bubbles overrunning our RV, so. And then this is where your fabric softener goes. There's three slots on the top, and these are the two, you know, that we use, the middle and the right side. My wife actually does this more than me, so I'm probably gonna blow something up. But uh, other features before I start up, we never really use these much. Low heat, pre-wash, extra rinse, low spin. It's got all kinds of different stuff. But once that's in, I'm gonna hit start. It's gonna make sure the door's locked. It's gonna crank up and it's gonna go. And the cool thing about these is, you know, I don't have to come back. It, I think the wash cycle is about 45 to 60 minutes. I don't have to come back in 45 to 60 minutes. Um, I can just come back and, you know, this, this might take a couple of hours, but it's not a big deal because we don't have, you know, an insane amount of clothes living in an RV anyways. So I'd come back, you know, a couple of hours on this load and uh, it should be done if all the settings are right on it. But really recommend this. Pros, obviously you don't have to go to a laundromat. That's great. Uh, do not want to have to do that if, if at all possible. Uh, you know, you can get your laundry done faster and actually cheaper. It gets pre it adds up quite a bit on the cost if you got to go to a laundromat, even if it's on site. Cons, um, sometimes this door, it doesn't pop open or anything like that, like on some of the other models I've read about, but you, you do have to push this pretty well to keep this closed. Other cons is your, um, your setup time. They make some of these that are really tiny and they drain in the sink and all that. Um, obviously, if you don't have all the stuff pre-wired and pre-plumbed, you've got to take the time to do that. Uh, and the third con is, which it's not really a con, I mean, you're in an RV, uh, it's half the size of, a, you know, your home washer dryer, so, but we really love it. I've had two different ones of these in two different RVs, and they both worked great. You can, it's, it's going right now while I'm doing the video. It's, it's super quiet. The only time you hear anything is when it starts doing a really fast spin cycle to start the drying process. Uh, otherwise, you hardly even notice the thing's on. But, Highly recommend it. Uh, if I did miss anything, check out the blog as well. I've probably got some details in there that I didn't mention on this as far as features. And uh, if you wanna put anything in the comments about your experiences with this, feel free to let me know. But we've had nothing but great experiences um, with this unit.